Rise and grind, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. It is 3.39 in the morning right now, and I'm starting the stream, just to give you an idea of how my sleep schedule is. Um, but we're here, we're at the, uh, we're at the end game. If you did not see the last Jar Cannon Run, uh, episode, <laughs> the last fiasco, um, I'm a little bit stuck on Sir Gideon off near the all-knowing, because he's just dodging all of our projectiles. Uh, he's just like this throughout the whole fight, every single time. So, today... Uh, I think it's time we start using other spirit ashes. I love the mimic tier because he also uses the jar cannon, but I think in the interest of uh, continuing the run, um, maybe it's time to invest in some better spirit ashes. So first order of business is not going to be going to fight Gideon right off the bat. I think we should probably... I mean, if I'm already going to use other spirit ashes, I might as well get the best of the best. Which means we need to go talk to Ronnie and get Black Knife Tish on lock. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. I did do a little bit of farming off stream and I got a bunch of bolts. So we shouldn't have to worry about ammo um, for a good little while. I have like 500 regular bolts and like 300 and some change of the explosives. So I think we'll be okay on that front, but... Just the fact that Gideon dodges every single projectile, it's gonna make me just- I'm just gonna run out of ammo over and over before we're able to kill him. So, let's go grab Black Knife Tish, get her upgraded to a degree, I probably won't get her to plus 10 because... Well, that's just a pain in the ass. Um, and I'd have to go, like, hunting for a bunch of- whoops. Title says Dark Souls- okay, hang on. I- I- Wow, I'm a streamer, and I totally forgot to do this. Okay, hang on. Let me get, let me get out of the Loretta fire zone. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me, uh, Ravensteel. I can't believe I forgot that. You're absolutely right. I'm looking at it right now. Wow. Hang on. Hang on. Uh... There we go, it should be changed as of right now. You might have to refresh. Sorry about that, yeah. We we were doing Dark Souls 1 before, and I probably will go back to Dark Souls 1 uh, sometime in the next couple days, because that challenge run needs to continue. But I've got a ton of farming to do in that, so we're going to uh, go back to this for a little bit. And, yeah, let's go grab Black Knife Tish because I think that'll make my life a lot easier. Um, we've only got a few bosses left in the game that are mandatory. I might go for uh, some optional ones. I want to try out Millennia, I think. But that's going to be... Millennia is more of a pain in the ass to get to than to fight, honestly. I tend to have more trouble with uh, Commander O'Neill and, and, and the lead-up to Millennia than anything. But I don't know, maybe this jar cannon will just wreck her shit. I kind of want to see how that goes. Um, we attempted to fight Placidusax on the last stream, and that didn't go too well. But we were doing decent damage. I think um, with enough tries, I could I could take out Placidusax as well. And then, of course, there's uh, the Lich Dragon. Yeah, there's a lot of there's actually a few a few bosses left. And I'm considering still doing all remembrances, but I don't know if I'm going to want to bother. I'd rather finish the run than uh, get stuck on an optional boss. Excuse me, folks. I need to go uh, see my friend Loretta so that we can continue through this area and get to Ronnie. Uh, other than Giddy and Offnir, though, especially if we have Black Knife Tish, I'm really not worried about most of the bosses in this game anymore. 
Because this cannon is doing over a thousand damage per shot. Uh, the hardest part about it is, like, after you fire a shot, it, it, you have to sit still for a minute while you reload. And that's the worst part. But overall, this is not one of the worst challenge runs or anything. It's actually not that bad. But the hardest bosses are still to come. So, uh, we'll see about that. Boom. And then Loretta is right around the corner now. Ooh, yeah, and there's a seed. Definitely want to grab this. Yoink. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I think we talk... Well, we're going to have to kill Loretta, but then we talk to Ronnie. We go to... Uh, we go down to Nocron, we grab the treasure chest down there, bring the item back to Ronnie, and then she gives me a key, and then I can go to the room where we fought Renala and open a chest, and inside of that chest uh, is an item that will get us to... What's her name? The Black Knife Ringleader, Electo. Oh my god. This damage is absurd. Ooh, I missed. I missed again. Hang on. I missed again. Huge. Enormous damage. Oh. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy. Easy peasy. Is there an item up here? Let's see. Oh, I'm just a little I'm just a little pig. I'm rooting around for items up here. No, there's nothing. Nope. Let's go on to, uh, to my good friend, Ronnie the Witch. I think I remember how to do it, but I've only gotten Black Knife Teach for, like, one or two other runs, so I'm a little foggy, a little fuzzy. It's a little early in the morning. Every excuse for me to do bad. So that if I die here, you can't make fun of me. Because I'm I'm so sensitive. Hey, smile. Glad you could make it out as well. It's good to see you guys. Sorry I didn't stream for a, a day or two there. My sleep schedule's all out of whack, and I'm always like iffy on whether I should go live when it's really late at night because I know people won't be able to make it. But I guess that's what the YouTube uploads are for. And that's been going pretty well. But we got the uh, the Dark Souls one challenge run got uploaded already. It took a little while longer than usual because I had to cut off part of the beginning because it was absurdly loud. And YouTube does not have the editing tools to fix that. Oh, I almost ran right off of that. What's up, girl? No particular reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see how it is, but I require antis. Good. Art that will wait left to go there. Okay, we gotta go find the hidden treasure. Oh yeah, we can't teleport out. Oh wait, maybe I have to. I might have to talk to her one more time. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, okay, okay. We're good.
No, I went down. What's up, Celibus, you bastard? You stupid bastard. I ask you, servo lady, I reside in a tower close by. Oh, I'm Celibus. I smell like butthole. Oh. I've already met you, E.G. I bought a bunch of smithing stones from you. Do you not remember me? <sighs> Alright, good. And now we go. And I should just be able to walk up and grab the shit that she wants. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pour it down there. It would be... here. Oh, are we gonna have to defeat the, uh, the howling fucking spirit, the murderous howling spirit, or whatever it's called? Baleful spirit? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think I do. I think I have to complete Ronnie's quest line to get Black Knife Tish. Ew, dude. That's so fucking gross. I don't need your do. I don't need your freaking do. Man. go back to here. Okay, so I might have to defeat the Baleful Shadow Spirit thing. But that shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. I don't know how, how easy it is for that spirit to dodge my projectiles. That might be a problem. And this is all just to defeat Sir Gideon off near the all-knowing. Of all the bosses to give me trouble, he's never been a problem for me until now. It's really funny how every challenge run makes different bosses easy and different bosses really, really, really hard. <laughs> you almost took out Rykard before you completed Volcano Manor. I recommend doing, uh, what's her name's quest line, um, Zarias's quest line. Zor Z Z Zorias. Snake Lady. Her quest line has to do with Rykard. And, uh, ah, it's a good quest line. And she's a good girl. And she deserves better. Ah. Oh, right, we gotta do that. Yeah, 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 okay. That's fine. I can do that. We gotta go to... Here? Yeah, the Carrion Study Hall. I, co I completely forgot Ronnie's quest line. But I think we have to complete it. Mother just gifted me the forgetful potion, I think. But I have no idea where to find her. Uh, yeah, she's in the manor. She's in the manor somewhere. It's like a she's tucked away in a little room. You'll, you'll find her eventually if you scour the place. I don't remember how to get there, though. Ooh, look how big the moon is in the sky with the burning herb tree. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing the game all like out of order <laughs> and stuff right now. Yeah. Probably should have done this a while ago, but Sir Gideon off near the All Knowing is just a he's a he's a dodging king. With my uh, with my bolts, he just can he he can dodge like nobody else. It's amazing. All right, and now 
boom. A boom. Let the cutscene play, because I haven't seen this in a long time. I've got sodi pop, I've got coffee, I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm ready to fucking go. My first time through this game, I just had no idea what to do with anything. It's so cryptic. It's it's great. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit's dying. Nice. You better not hit me with those projectiles, I swear to God. Do your worst. Do your worst. This is like, what I'm doing is like more of an insult than if this, uh, than if I just killed this ghost that's fighting me. I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> That could have been bad, though. Nice. Well, you made it. Good luck shooting me. You're never gonna... You're never gonna get me. Never, ever. Tasha Jar has made it to safety. There we go. I'm gonna open the big upside down door, and there's nothing you can do to fucking stop me. I feel like with Black Knife Teach, the rest of this run is going to be pretty trivial, so we will probably give an attempt to, uh, to Millennia. I can't guarantee I'll beat her because she's very difficult, but we'll, we'll give her a try. And maybe, just maybe, we'll also beat Soldier of Godric, though no guarantees. Oh, doesn't a, doesn't a large boy spawn on this? Don't I have to fight a large boy? Or is this the one with the double omen fight? I don't remember. You haven't beaten the one contract, the Mountain of the Giant? Oh, are you talking about the, um... What is it? Is that the guy with the whips? Or the double whips? Oh, if he does his rolling attack, I'm dead. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Can you quack? Uh-oh. Yeah, that was, the, that was the wrong time to do that. Boom! Oh, I love that that staggers me. If I get staggered during the reload animation, it automatically reloads the bolt, and I don't have to go through the whole animation. I do have to take damage for that, though. Ooh, that hurt.
Uh oh. How'd you miss all of that? Ooh, the counter damage. Ooh, hang on. You know what? What's the defense like on this? It's bad. It's bad. It's better on weight, though. I could walk around looking like a damn fool. Wait a minute. Better holy resistance on the godskin stuff. This could be good for uh, Radagon and Elden Beast. Oh, I look so stupid. God, this is such a good look. You switch to using the death call, but it takes too much time to cast. Yeah, that's a problem with a lot of the powerful spells in this game. They make you, uh, they make you really wait for those casts. I want to do a run where we're using... Um, there's these spells that the clay men in the underground areas that cast the bubbles at you. I want to use those bubbles. I'm not talking about the... Um, the trumpet bubbles from the from the enemies that are like round and dressed in all white robes and stuff not those but the ones in the underground um areas does the redon talisman really help with cast time it does but it's not it's not a huge boost i think it's the equivalent of like what is it like five levels of dexterity yeah, I mean the multiple blue bubbles and the big blue bubble. Those are the ones. I want to I wanna try to beat the game with those, but that's going to be a later time. We made a brief attempt at that run before, and it was bad, but <laughs> I think it could be fun. The thing is, that big bubble, if you can fully charge it, it does a lot of damage. It's just the cast time on it is atrocious. It's also really difficult for enemies to dodge because it moves very slowly, and it stays active for a long time. But that'll be another run. For now, I want to finish. I want to finish a a dang challenge run because I haven't finished a single one. Yeah, the Oracle Bubbles. Thank you. That's what they're called. Oh yeah, what's the Stargazer Heirloom do? Raises intelligence. Well, that's useless for me. I could use a Holy Resistance uh, Talisman, but we'll figure that out another time. So now, Ronnie would be gone from her tower already, right? Yeah. So now we want to go... Is it Ainsel River, Maine? Or is it the depths? No, that's the well. Okay, we want to go to Maine. And then we need to talk to the Ronnie doll. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. You beat the fire giant. Are there any bosses you'd need to fight before progressing through the place it takes you after the blazing after blazing the tree? Um No, even even right after you beat the final boss, before you end the game and get the final cutscene, you get a chance to there's there's a grace in the room and you get a chance to leave and go take care of any extra stuff. Um you could go you could go fight Commander O'Neill in the mountaintop of the giants and potentially um from there let me think about this you could go fight commander o'neill and then go to the secret area where millennia is the halig tree you need both halves of the uh secret medallion for that but that's optional. All of the all of that stuff is optional. Now that you've beaten the fire giant, everything that you need to do is in uh, the it's in the Ashen Capital and um, the what's it called? Uh, Missoula. You're gonna need to fight Malakath and all that, and then uh, yeah. You got a few really tough bosses ahead of you. 
but you're getting close to the end. After the fire giant, they kind of just throw a bunch of bosses at you. Excuse me. I've already been through here before. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Hang on. I forgot we need to talk to Ronnie. I gotta talk to this doll. This haunted doll. God, that hits like a truck. Okay. No, it's a habit. Fine. If I see a doll, I fucking Fine. talk to it. I hadn't expected any sort Just in of case it has a ghost device. inside. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. <sighs> Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. The name of Rani the Witch. Still feel like even with 120 hours, you're still missing things slash bosses slash areas. Well, if you're going for like a 100% like you want to defeat everything type of run, um, you probably have missed some stuff. But the path to the end, if you're just looking to beat the game and then maybe do some a few more extra bosses and stuff. A lot of the a lot of the bosses that you wouldn't have defeated yet are repeats of bosses you've already beaten. Um, there's some caves here and there, like in the mountaintop of the giants. Um, if you get tired of being in Faramazula, though, because that that place is hard and you gotta fight some really tough bosses there, uh, you could go back and go to the mountaintops of the giants and, and go forward into the uh, the other snowy area, which I'm forgetting the name of. And uh, then get to the Halleck Tree and, and go there and fight Millennia and stuff. Um, but you, yeah, there's probably stuff that you've missed just because this game is very dense. There's a, there's a lot of stuff pretty much everywhere. Um, and I'm, I'm still, like, discovering stuff I haven't fought yet sometimes. Usually I'm making a mad dash towards the end of the game with these runs, but there still occasionally is some stuff that surprises me. There's a lot to it. A lot of little nooks and crannies and bonus bosses and all kinds of good stuff. What, you got more to say? Let us speak of the past a while. Oh no, I don't. I, was I don't need your lore. I don't need your damn done. lore. I, I thought you might have had something else to say. Oh shit! 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 Okay. Ronnie says that I have to defeat multiple baleful shadows. She specifically pluralizes it, but there's only one. I just hope he can't dodge my projectiles reliably. That's really all I I hope. I, I'm pretty sure I could beat him if he isn't that great at dodging. But, um, we'll see about that. Ooh, there's another uh, golden seed here. I might want to... Oh, I can't ride torrent. That's dumb. That's dumb. 
Um, let me see if I can get up to that golden seed before we leave the area. I cannot. I have to go through the... Uh, let's go through all that. No, I'm not going to do it right now. It's not worth it. I don't think one golden seed would be enough for me to uh, upgrade my flasks anyway. Oh, what? Oh, I've already been down here, so I have to... I have to, like, call this shit back up. Pull the lever, crunk. What? That was hogwash. That went right through that ant. I saw it happen. I love this outfit. I'm so glad I got this. Rest. Refill everything. And we'll go fight this ghosty goo. Ghosty goo. Maybe if maybe if I use an explosive bolt, it'll do more against these guys because they're like an animal. It's about the same. A little bit more. 300 more damage with the explosives against them. <laughs> uh, he can dodge, but... Can he dodge really good? Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. I can just aim where he's going to dodge. Ah, clever boy. Lead him into the tunnel where he can't dodge as effectively. Wow, this is super cheesy. Are you guys seeing this cheese? Come on over here, man. have six more of these fuckers. Oh, I was going for the direct hit. I got so greedy. How many Estus do you get, by the way? It's bullshit that you get any. Direct hit this time. There we go. My thanks. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. You envisioned it being easier than that? This is farewell, my dear. Tell Bly and EG. I love them. I'll tell them. Don't worry. And now we gotta go to eh. here. Gotta go talk to her mom. Well, not really talk to her. Alright. 
I'm not sure how much trouble I'm going to have defeating Black Knife Ringleader Electo. Um, but it's going to be tough. Tougher than that fight. But maybe not by a lot. Um, since I've already fe defeated Estelle, I could just go directly into the room. And then once we get Black Knife Tish, um, Profit, Profit. Gideon's going down for sure, but the last few bosses in this game are real, real nut busters, you know? Oh wait, yeah, there it is. That's the right way. You don't have the right, sweet Jesus. You don't have the right. Sitting downtown in a railroad station. You don't have the right. Thoroughly love the Sorcerer Head cosmetics. Celia and the others especially, in combination with the Erudition emote. Oh, I love Erudition. The only thing better than Erudition for me is Rapture, which is this. <laughs> But erudition's great. And it makes the uh, makes the crystals glow. I could get the moonlight great sword. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, where is... Where is... Black Knife Tish? Over here. Let's see if I can get the coveted first try Electo kill. Probably not. I have a feeling I'm about to waste a bunch of ammo, but... I have hundreds of bolts, so... I'm not tremendously worried about it. And she can't heal, so we might be okay. Might be okay. I just need to figure out when to take my shots during this fight, and it uh, should be fine. Probably need to get some levels in the spirit, too, once I get it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. See what the damage is like? Terrible. Absolutely horrific damage. Yeah. And she's just gonna dodge everything. Oh, that sucks. Damn it! Oh, this fight's gonna be hard. Oh god, the damage is bad. She could dodge. Ah, uh, she could dodge so well. I think my only chance to get an attack off is when she's also attacking like this.
Maybe I could like trap her between some rocks to where she can't dodge. Do your jump, yeah. Oh, damn it. I'm dead. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna happen. There's other options for good spirits. Black Knife Tish. Black Knife Tish is the best one. I have a feeling I'm gonna I'm gonna get my ass handed to me repeatedly here. I really need to be careful with my shots and conserve ammo and maybe we can do it. Maybe. In theory, I'm doing enough damage to be able to, but I need to hit, like, every single shot, basically. Give me those runes. Round two. Yeah, that AoE attack is nasty. Let's see what we can do. Hey, Electo. How you doing? Remember me from just a moment ago. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Why aren't you doing anything? Ow. Ow. Of course you did that. Don't heal punish me. You freak. Nice try. Gotcha. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's dance. Do your jump. Do your jump attack. Why are you just jumping around? Stop. There you go. Gotcha. Okay. Keep doing your shit. Do your do your shit. <laughs> do your sh stupid attacks. Come on. I don't, I don't have all day. Actually, I kind of do. No, it's gonna be a long one. The damage isn't fantastic, but. something. It's damage. At least it's... Oh, God. Well, alrighty then. Yes. Oh, I still hit you. That's embarrassing. How embarrassing for you. Come on. If I try to shoot her now, she's just gonna dodge it. I need to get her when she's in the middle of some dumb maneuver. That jump attack is the easiest one to exploit. Yes. Good. It really is like a dance more than a fight right now. Stop. Ow. 
Ow. Yeah, that totally is gonna hit me. Oh my god. Fuck, I'm dead. Overkill, okay, that was overkill. Stop. Well, at least I didn't waste that many bolts that time. I'll get her eventually. This is this is not as hard of a boss as Gideon with this setup, as it turns out. I just need to keep baiting that jump attack and exploiting whenever I can. I think we got it. Give me this. I'm going in. <clears throat> and I can get a free shot right at the beginning, so I might as well. Actually, the regular bolts are doing more damage. The pierce damage, I guess, is doing more than fire damage against her. Jump attack, please. God damn it. And she's using a dagger. Oh, God. She's using a dagger, so, like, her attacks aren't staggering me out of the animation of reloading. I really need to get the timing right on that counter-attack shit. Oof. Oof. You're going down, Electo. I don't even... I don't even care. It has been a while since I've uh, fought her, though. She's so fast. So fast, so jumpy. But as long as I don't, like, bother even trying to attack when, uh, when she's not, like, recovering from her own long animation, should be okay. I, I have enough bolts to kill her. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Come on. Enough of these games. God damn it. Oh, that was the bubble. Nice. My bubble saved me. I'll try to let my heal over time take care of my health for this part. I could probably get a shot off while she's doing that attack and um, hit her, because she's stuck like in the wind-up for that. Very good. behind a rock. What are you going to do now? Cool. Ow. Oi.
Why are you dodging? I'm not even doing anything. Yes. No. Stop it. What's up? I'm going to top off, because I just know she's going to do that grab attack, and I'm not going to dodge it. Come on. Boom. Oh, God. Fuck. Ooh, that's so close to death. God damn it. Fuck you. Black Knife Ring Leader Electo. Stop being so silly. Do your damn jump slam. Just gonna keep doing that. Thank you. Come on. Okay. I'm just gonna top off in case she grabs me. Come on. That was big damage. Wow. Must have been a headshot. Dude, please. Do your freaking jump attack. Thank you. Come here. Get an explosive one in there. Come on. Come over here. No, I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Oh. 
Oh, it's so tedious. It's so tedious. I hate it. Why is her... Her cloak is, like, freaking out. We got her, uh, we got her a few good times, then. Oh, this is gonna be a long and miserable fight. No matter which way you cut it. And she hits like a fucking truck. Let's go. Okay. What's up? Stop. Stop not doing your jump attack, asshole. You know what? Come over here. Come over here. Can we, can we not be here, like, for hours, please? That should have hit you. Whatever. bait that jump attack specifically I don't think there's a way to do it you just have to like endure a combo and then she does it randomly why Come on, keep doing it. Keep it up. What was that? What was that horse shit? That was horse shit. I hate this fight now. This is going to be miserable with the jar cannon. I kind of don't know if it's even worth it at this point. There are other spirit summons that are good that I could use against um, against old Gideon. I, I, like, a lot of the spirit summons could probably solo him. Hmm. I might just give up on getting Black Knife Teach, honestly. It's, it's overkill. It's unnecessary. And this fight sucks. With the jar cannon. I can only exploit that jumping attack, and, um... She doesn't do it often enough, and I'm not doing a lot of damage when I do hit her. Yeah, let's just fuck it. Let's just fucking go. Um... Where else? There is... I could get, like, Engval... Or Oleg. I think Oleg is, like, right here. 
we gotta get to the bottom of the hero's grave at the very beginning of the game. And then you get a good spirit. I think that one's Oleg. Let's give this a try. I just need someone who can take on Gideon. I could probably do it with Rot Dog. Just get Rot Dog some upgrades. You know what? I will I will do it with Rot Dog. I already have him. I don't have to go to the bottom of the hero's grave for this. Let's just go see if I can upgrade Rot Dog. Um and like what I need to do that. I probably will need to get some glove wart. But yeah, the Electo isn't gonna happen, just because like I'm doing too little damage to her, really, is the problem. If I was doing, like, double the damage against her, I would probably stick it out. But that's just, it's not enough. It's not enough. I'm going to end up wasting so many bolts. Uh, there you are. Hey, upgrade Rot Dog. That's cool. Um, ooh. Where can I even get Grave 3? Grave Glove War 3. Actually, let's see if I can purchase it before I go away to go get some. I might have some of the Glove War Picker's Bell Bearings. Oh god, I'm a, I'm a fool. Gimme. No, I need grave. And they do not have grave. Grave glove wart three. I don't think plus two rot dog is gonna last very long in that fight. Because if Gideon hits him like once, it's just gonna just gonna take him out. All right, let me look for... Well, I, I should double-check. It was Grave, right? It wasn't Ghost. I think... I, I always get confused because there's two types of Glove Wart. Which one upgrades which spirits? Let's see. We need Grave Glove Wart a 3. I'm just going to look this up real quick. being dumb. One moment. Uh, roads and catacombs? Is that, in, is that in Limgrave? It is in Limgrave. Wait, it's not. It's in Liernia. Oh, I know where this is. Pretty close to a an existing grace that I've got. I only need one. Do I have Grave Glove Warp 4 already? I have four or five. I could get I could get Rot Dog to plus five if I go here. Alright. Um I guess this is the closest grace I've got. Okay. And then maybe I should look up Grave Glove Ward 6 as well. Now that I know exactly where this is, I'm going to exit out of the Grave Glove Ward 6. Where the hell are any of these? War Dead Catacombs. Um... Oh. That would be really easy to get. Okay. I know where Grave Glove Ward 6 is, too. Uh, Rot Dog plus 6 should be fucking plenty for Gideon.
I just want something that'll be like better for distracting him so he doesn't just roll through all of my bolts. Ow, dude. Owie, owie. Ooh. There's a grace around here. I think it's over here. Actually. It is. Cool. And then to get to the roads and catacombs, I think we just go down here? Well, I haven't been here in a little while. I'm a little fuzzy on it. This way? Huh, maybe it's on the other side of the tree. I guess it is on the other side of the tree, but... Fuck you. Um... Yeah, I, I should have just gone around the tree. Damn it. Can I get down? On this side. I don't believe I can. That's unfortunate. Well, at least I know where to go. I could fight the Erdtree Avatar here. But I don't need what he has. I wish Electo wouldn't have been such a pain. Oh boy. Loud car. Loud car going by in the middle of the night. My neighbors have these obnoxiously fucking loud cars that they, like, rev the engines of all day, so if you're wondering why I usually don't stream during daylight hours, uh, it's because my neighbors are fucking tools, and there would just be constantly that all the time. Um, but it works better for me to stream at night, too, because I'm pretty nocturnal as it is, so I could just sleep through that shit during the day, and then at night... Uh, goof off. Goof around. Alright, so apparently there's, uh, some good glove wart in here, so let me, uh, just start grabbing this. Um, there should be grave glove wart 4, though. That's a fake wall. This is a fake wall. No, that's ghost two. It's not really what I need. Rune arc, also not really what I need. Through here? No. Grave glove wart two. I'm probably further in. People go to parking lots nearby and burn rubber. Yeah, they do that here too, but luckily I don't live, like, near enough to a parking lot for, uh, for that to, like, affect the stream or anything like that. But yeah, I hear that, um, all the time. Because there's, like, a mall not that far from me, and they like to go to the parking lots at night and, like, do donuts and stuff. The problem with this, uh, with my current setup is the neighbors, like, the people who live directly across the street from me are, like, fucking annoying. Uh, Rhea Lucaria soldiers I don't remember being very good. So I probably won't end up using those asses. 
I thought there was a... Oh, I needed a plus three. That's why I came here, right? So I think we're good. I mean, what's the boss? What's the boss of this fucking place, anyway? Spirit Caller Snail. Good night, Sweet Prince. Do I get good ashes? Glintstone Sorcerer, not really. Pretty bad ashes, actually. Okay. Don't need those. I'll just upgrade Rot Dog. Thank you. I'm gonna stop by uh, Radon's Arena because the War Dead Catacombs in the main fucking chamber have another important club war. And then, um. I'm hoping that plus six Rot Dog is enough. To deal with Gideon. If he, could, if he can at least distract him for long enough for me to hit him a few times, it should be enough. Oh, yeah, Radon's Arena. Right, right, right. The War Dead Catacombs are in Radon's Arena. If I was reading this right, it should uh, it should just be really easy to run in and grab the glove wart and leave. I was hoping not to have to rely on spirit ashes for this run, but I'll, I'll fucking I'll take it. My gamer cred is already in the toilet, so uh, you know. I really like Rot Dog though, and I want I want him to work for this because I want Rot Dog to be the hero of the run. He deserves it. Now where are the catacombs? Am I going in the right spot? I thought they were, like, right near the end. Might be going too far. I don't see the entrance. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there it is. It's at the very end of the arena. Wow. there an imp ambush right here? Maybe not. So the glove ward I need should be down here. I don't think this is anything. Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, stop it. Leave me out of your... P 
petty battle. Okay. Great, I've got the rot now. I've got the rot now. You see? You guys happy? I don't think it would be in here. Oh, is this it? Hey, there it is. No, it was Grave that we needed, right? Or was it Ghost? <laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. I was in this room. Even if I die, I don't really care. Well, it would be nice to not lose these runes, but I don't really have a choice. Was it Ghost? It was Grave. And it was six. Right in the center of the main chamber with four staircases. You can find the glove war under a under a torch on the left wall. Oh, am I a dumbass? Did I just miss that? Huh. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go grab this. Oh my god, it's right. It was right there. It was in view the whole time. There it is. And then, um... I guess I'll just grab my runes and try to leave. Hopefully I don't die. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please. Okay, we're good. This will be enough for me to upgrade my dog. And that's what we really want. Oh, fuck off. Why can't I just teleport? I'm out of sight of grace, man. See how Rot Dog does against Sir Gideon Offnir, the all knowing. Fear the deathbed companion. I was hoping he would do Sir Gideon Offnir, the all knowing, but I don't have a plus seven. Maybe a plus three man serpent would be good. I don't know. If Rot Dog doesn't work, we could try the Man Serpent. Sounds good. Let's give it a go. Gideon, prepare to meet your maker. Prepare to stare death in the eyes. Because I have a dog this time. I should actually, I need to remember to equip him, or else I'll just be summoning the Mimic again. And that thing's useless against Gideon. Old Gideon. Spirit Ashes make a big difference. I actually really, really like the inclusion of Spirit Ashes in this game. It's one of my favorite things that they added. Just because it's fun. It's fun to play around with different, like, Pokemon. <laughs> I hope you in battle. Oh, right, I can't. Can't ride the horse here. We could go in the sewer and fight Sewer Moog. But I kind of don't want to. Kind of don't even want to do that. I don't need to go for the frenzied flame ending or anything. Huh. 
Okay. Here we got Raw Dog. He is plus six. Let's hope that's enough. Gideon might just instantly destroy him. So we might have to go looking for some more glove war. What else would we need? Do I have a plus seven already? I don't. I don't. Um, okay. We would need seven, eight, nine, and uh, great. Keep distracting him enough, all right? Oh, he killed him already! Uh-oh. Wait, he's got the rock, though. Gideon has the rot. He's got the fucking rot. Bad. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't good. Yeah, that rot would have killed him. Absolutely. I'm doing it. I'm doing it with rot dog. Just need to be a little bit more careful. I think we can get him. I need to try to hit him more when rot dog's alive. Gideon, you stupid bastard. Holy fuck! Wow, dude, eat my ass. Why does he do so much more damage? The, the, the damage, I don't even think it's attainable for like the player. I've never had this much trouble with this boss, ever. He's obnoxious. But that's what challenge runs do, like, some bosses are just weirdly hard. He's just the perfect build to counter my build. <laughs> Fuck! 
He didn't even get the rot. I'm not even giving him the satisfaction. Alright, plus six rot dog is not doing too well. I wonder how hard it would be to get him to plus ten. I don't know. Oh, I forgot Gideon has a fucking flask, too. He can heal partway through the fight. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. This might not work out with Rot Dog. There you go, you dumb bastard. Yeah. He doesn't have the rot. He didn't get the fucking rot, and he got to heal. Ugh. What a horrible little man. Just kill me, dude. Kinda hate him now. This is such a funny boss to struggle with, because he's like taking massive damage from my bolts and everything. He's just dodging them all. Ooh. Ooh. It would be cool if there were like ballista bolts that did um that did like rot or poison damage. This boss is contrarian cope. He's contrarian cope. Holy shit. I hate him, and he still didn't get the- he got the rot the first time, and I squandered it! I squandered it! Oh, I squandered it so bad! I'm gonna start looking into, uh, Glove War 7. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Mountain Top of the Giants, Giant Conquering Hero's Grave. Uh, Giants Mountaintop Catacombs, Gelmir Hero's Grave. Um. I'll give it a couple more tries and then we can maybe go hunting for a different spirit summon or something. Because the dog is not doing what I need him to. Even if he gets the raw, I would have to survive for long enough to, uh, you know, take advantage of that rot. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I missed!
He didn't get the rock. Go fuck yourself. I walked into it. You know what? Just kill me, man. You fought well until now. This fight sucks ass. This fight sucks absolute ass. Why does he get so much mana? Why can he just cast infinite spells that hit like meteorites forever? Oh, Gideon, I hate you so much. I hate you so much, Gideon. Fuck. Oh, it's making me actually mad. Maybe... Maybe I should try it with a different summon, though. I have a lot of, uh... The other glove wart. For the special ashes. Maybe I could go with my original idea and use, like, Banish Knight Engval slash Oleg. I have, um... Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. I could get so I could get a special spirit all the way upgraded. Let's just get a uh whichever one is Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do the hero's grave at the beginning of the game. The one right at the start of the game. If I can get the spirit, we can get it fully upgraded all the way to ten. And then we can go in there and just absolutely whoop his ass. I'ma whip your ass. I'ma whip your ass. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Speaking of, it might be fun to do this game with whips. Sean is still playing through it for the first time, and he's doing a whip build. And I'm like, that looks like fun. That looks like a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm thinking about future runs of this game, and I haven't even... Really? I'll be right back. I gotta buy some stupid ass stone sword keys now. Oh god. Oh god. There's also Lutl. Lutl the Headless. She's very good. I could use her to, uh, to defeat him. But no, I'll just go, I'll, I'll do the hero's grave. There's a boss down there that'll be fun to kill, and then... And then we will, uh... Profit. How much are these? 4,000? I need 8,000. Let's see, this should maybe be enough. Almost. Maybe like that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. And yeah, we'll get a pretty decent from what I remember at least. Pretty decent legendary spirit for this. It's kind of funny that they put this right at the beginning of the game. I mean, I guess it's good game design, right? Because you come out here and you're like, oh, what's in here? Oh man, I can't, go, I can't go in there. And then you see this and it's like, oh, not enough stone sword key. I gotta get some of those. And then you come back and it's like hell. It's like you go, you walk in there and it's like getting punched in the nuts repeatedly. It's great. Pretty high poison resistance right now. Gotta wait for this guy to come back. I'm gonna try to save my flasks for when we get to the fight at the bottom.
Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Just go all the way down. Got pretty lucky that time. Ooh, you almost took my bubble from me, you bastard. This is gonna hurt. Uh-oh. That's fair. I did just give this guy a pretty rude awakening. He's probably just sitting down here for like a century. Oh no, don't grab me. Oh no, 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 not that. Okay. He didn't grab me. He tried though. Got him. It's Oleg, double swords man. If I remember right, he's good because he's extra aggressive. And we got a golden seed, that was nice. That was nice of them to give me that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to round table hold and I'm gonna upgrade Oleg all the way to plus 10 and hope that that's enough. Fucking better be enough. I don't know what his magic resistance is like, but this is the this is what we're we're working with right now, you know. You got to do what you got to do. He should be able to like stagger Gideon too, which would be mucho helpful. Mucho helpful. Mr. Gideon Ophnir, the all-knowing. Can I get it on the first try? No. <laughs> no, not that time. Hey, what's up? I see. Can you tune my freaking spirit, please? Oh, yeah, we're gonna get it all the way. All the way. You can use that, I don't care. Oh, oh, still not enough, huh? Alright, we'll use uh, that. Remembrance of the Omen King. And boom, he's plus 10. Ooh, 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 okay. Let's check up on Gideon again. See how it goes this time. Oh, wait, do I even have the mana to summon him? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that might be a problem. If I don't, I can go get the uh, hidden cerulean tier, which gives me temporary unlimited magic, and then we can summon him. Should be okay. I should have thought about that before teleporting, though, because I do, I do have the ability to beat a uh, ulcerated tree spirit fairly easily. So we can just go beat the one in Mount Gelmir and be fine. Let's see, though. One hundred FP. I only have seventy-eight. No, I need to go get this really in hidden tier. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, gross. I have to go all the way from... Okay, whatever. It's not that bad. I thought I had a, um... I thought I had a better, closer grace, but... This one will do. This will do, pig. Mm -hmm. 
things are getting off now. I'm about to open a coffee. Be not afraid. Oh, God. I've been really digging canned coffees lately. And I'm old, so I have to do a big old stretch to straighten out my spine. I said it on Twitter the other day, but here's your friendly, your friendly fuckminster reminder to not go to the chiropractor. Because chiropractors are pseudoscientists. And the guy who invented chiropractic medicine said he learned it from a ghost. And people get injured by chiropractors all the time. Is this... This isn't right, is it? Is this where I want to be? But yeah, the thing about um, chiropractors uh, is they're not real doctors. And um, nope, this is not where I want to be. Ah, shit. How did I get that... How do I get that grace without... Okay, we gotta go all the way around. It's fine. Whatever. But yeah, don't, don't let a chiropractor fuck with your spine. Because the guy who invented that medicine, quote-unquote medicine, learned it from a ghost, okay? He learned it from a ghost in, like, the 1800s. And somehow, people are still allowed to do it to this day. I don't understand. You can pop your own spine and stuff, and it's probably a lot safer. But if you're really having spine problems, go to a- go to like a doctor. Doctor. And I would know, because I have spine problems. I have spine pain, because when I was an idiot teenager, I lifted up a- I used to I used to work at a um, an industrial supply company when I got my first job and I worked in a warehouse full of like heavy materials and stuff like that etc and one day I went to go lift up a valve that was extremely large and heavy and I lifted with my back and I I threw my back out and it's never been the same since But if you go to a real doctor they can help you um, and also, I only occasionally have problems with it, so it's not, like, a constant struggle for me. But, um, as someone with spine problems, don't fucking trust chiropractors, man. They'll fuck you up. It's not worth it. Your spine is important. I just saw a post, too, the other day where somebody's, uh... Somebody's, like, sister or something went to a chiropractor and then had all the sh signs of a stroke, like, later that day, and had to go to the hospital. And I guess I'll buy some more bolts. I don't- I don't need these 18,000 runes. I think I'm lower on explosive bolts, so I'll just... Let's just get a bunch of bolts, yeah. But yeah, my spine is permanently damaged now because I was a fool when I was like 16 and uh, I messed up my back. Luckily, like I said though, I don't, I don't have to deal with it like every single day, but there are periods of time where it's like I get a week of pain. And um, you know, luckily I'm in a situation though where uh, it's not like untreatable at home either like I can usually take some uh, naproxen or something and and that will help with the pain and make it to bring it down to a manageable level but yeah your spine's a very important uh, thing but it's also kind of weird like spines are a huge design flaw <laughs> in in nature in general like I don't know what God was thinking when he invented the spine but It's like having a- it's like a Jenga tower in your body that contains your most important and vital functions. Nope. 
Ooh, did I get this? Let's see if I can grab this uh, seed. I did not grab this seed. We might be due for a flask upgrade pretty soon. Get to the get to the twelve heels. I'll grab the map while I'm here. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna rest. Uh, no, no, no flask upgrade ready yet. Get your flask. Yeah. Gonna need a couple more seeds for that, but there's a few I haven't grabbed. Uh, just laying around in various different places, so. We gotta fight another ulcerated tree spirit. So I'm going to do that right now. Here we go. See if I could do this first try. I'd rather not have to uh, fight this guy a million times, but he's got a very important tier, a uh, crystal tier for me. Ah, oh, the damage is gorgeous. I missed. That's fair. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Oh, I missed that one. Explodey. Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Damn. Oh, he's invincible for this whole animation? Oh, the stretchy neck. Nice. Good job, Mimic. Thanks for the assist. That is what we want. All right. Very cool. Oh, wait, now I just, I need to, uh, I need to go right to Gideon. Right to Gideon. Well, since I'm at this grace, I'm going to use the opportunity to equip that crystal tier. The Cerulean Hidden tier. That's what I needed this whole time. Now we'll be able to summon Oleg. Oh, wait. Mix Wondrous Physic. That's what I want. Um, we'll just do that. Boom. All right, Gideon, get ready to eat shit, Gideon. If Oleg is capable of staggering him, then the fight's gonna end up being pretty trivial, I think. I know he'll be, like, tanky enough to withstand Gideon, at least for a few minutes, but... I'm not sure how much damage he does, because I never use this summon, really. I've used it before, but I, I never really have relied on him for a crucial moment of a run like this, so I hope Oleg's good enough. I used a great glove ward on him, so he better be good enough. All right. Now we begin the walk of shame back to Gideon Offnir. I've got full bolts in my inventory. We are looking good.
And I think I might switch back to Radagon's armor for the Horolo Chieftain of the Badlands fight. And then uh, back to this for Radagon and Elden Beast. Because they do, like, massive holy damage. It would be nice to be able to negate that holy damage. I don't like that this, uh, like, I'm okay with the fact that this is made out of flesh and stuff, but, like, the fact that the back of this armor has a belly button and a bunch of hair on it is really, like, horrible. It's, it's just awful. Um, it might be the most uncomfortable I've ever been with an armor set in a Souls game. <laughs> Get ready to get fucked up, Gideon. I got my homie Oleg here. He's gonna show you what it means to get your ass kicked. You think you know the proper meaning of a beatdown? Madness. Chaos in the brain. He almost killed me with that. What the fuck? How are you with- Oh god, I hate you, Gideon! It's not gonna work, is it? It, it didn't work. What the fuck? I can be in this close. Alright, maybe... I think, that, I think it might work out, actually. Because Oleg is able to keep up that heat. As long as I can keep up the heat with my bolts. Primarily, the explosive bolts. I think I can do it. I'm going to use the same strategy I was using to fight the, the Baleful Shadow earlier, where I was aiming like where I was thinking he would dodge to. Because I actually ended up hitting Gideon a few times with that strategy, so... I'm going to try to make it work. I'm going to try to make it work. I think, um, I think if I could do that, Oleg is capable of doing enough damage to kill him with me. So let's, let's try this again. I think it's like 30 to 10 seconds or 30 seconds or something of unlimited mana when I use this, so let's go. How did I miss? Nice. It's all about that manual aim. I 
I didn't even hit him with that? What? Oh, God. Shit! Look at all that damage. I have almost 40 vigor. What the hell? We're getting closer than before, though. We're getting, like, really close to killing him. I think manual aiming on the ground at his feet with the explosive bolts is probably going to do me a lot of good here. I'm going to get another sip of coffee. Alright, Gideon. Alright, Gideon. Nice. Keep up the pressure. Keep up the pressure. Keep it up. Nice. There it is. You're about to eat those words, Gideon. What is a man? You know, I'll actually check out Gideon's armor for once because... Better physical strike slash and pierce resistance, but worse holy. Worse holy. By like a lot. It's like way worse holy resistance. Alright. Fucking useless. Alright, how many bolts do I have left? Do I need to farm? Let's check this out. Running a little low on the explosive bolts, but not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. Switch back to the mimic for uh, old Hora Low. Horolo, chieftain of the Badlands, 
the ever brilliant gold mask. I have 150,000 runes for that? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, level up a little bit. Yeah. Big nasty health bar. We don't need the unlimited mana tier if I'm not using Oleg, so let me take that back off. Boost Poise, that's the opposite of what I want. Just do the gradual heal one. Oh, hello. Chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant gold mask. This is a good cutscene. Because if you look closely, Grace, uh, his Grace, is pointing to me. That's why this is a good cutscene. <laughs> we gotta wait for the wide shot. The guidance of Grace is pointing him to me, because I'm his next objective. A long while, Morgoth. Later, Morgoth, you shriveled fuck. See? Point at me. Long and hard didst thou fight. You can't just make up words like didst. Punished warrior. Spurned by the grace of gold. Foul tarnished. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Oh, I like this fight. I like this fight a lot. I don't know if I'm going to like it with the jar cannon, though. Alas, I am returned. Let's go. To be granted audience once more. <laughs> Shut up, Sarosh. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> All right, fair enough. How did he take damage? Oh god, the damage sucks. Oh god, the damage is gonna suck ass, isn't it? Maybe he's weaker to pierce though. My um my mimic tier tends to use the explosive bolts more than the regular ones. Oh Jesus. Oh the humanity. Well, I kind of expected that, because after the cutscene it puts you at an unfavorable position. So that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. <laughs> maybe I should try to- maybe I should like summon a player if I uh, can't be Elden Beast Radagon. Alright. Drink. Summon. Drink. Shoot. Eight hundred. Okay, well, phase one isn't going to be that bad, but phase two? Oh, 
Oh god. Forgot about that. Oh Jesus. So close. He was about to enter phase two. I thought for sure I would get the phase two. <laughs> he entered phase two, but I'm dead. You know what, though? This is doable. Technically. Once he starts doing that, filling the whole arena with his attack stuff, it's kind of hard to get a shot off at the right time. But. If I can figure out the timing, um, I don't think he's going to be that bad. It's going to be a difficult, a tough but fair fight. And I think that that is really emblematic of this fight as a whole. Like, I, I, I always enjoy this fight to a degree no matter what I'm doing. It's tough, but it's fair. Him filling the arena with his stomp attacks completely is difficult but he has huge telegraphs when he's about to do the stomps so I don't mind it so much all right traverse summon sippy and we can get a few free shots off on him while he's walking slowly and intimidatingly towards me start shooting him you dumbass Okay. Oh, failed the jump. Oh, he killed my Mimic already? Yo, that sucks. I missed? What do you mean I missed? Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> the slam dunk! I don't know if I've ever been killed by that attack. Eee. Ooh, ee, ooh. Maybe I should just summon the mimic when he's like up already about to transition to phase two. That might be a better solution to this. Hopefully then the mimic can help me out a little bit more. Phase one isn't so bad. Phase two gets rough, but I think we can do this.
Thought I saw something on the ground there. Uh, yep. Let's go. Why'd you walk to the side, you penis? You peen. If I'm willing to take some damage, I could get some good, decent uh, counter-attack damage on him. Don't do your stompies. Actually, I should be wearing Radon's armor for this, because he's not doing holy damage at all. His his damage is all physical. Yeah, I'll wear I'll wear Radon's set, I think. For this one. For this one. And then maybe I will summon the mimic like right at the beginning or something. Because uh, we'll both have more resistance then. Is there anything better for physical resistance? No. Well, I could get, like, the Bulgo armor, actually, and that would be pretty great. Um, hmm. The Bulgo armor. I didn't think about that. We'd have to do some Volcano Manor stuff. And, you know, I'd have to do the assassinations, and then everybody I have to kill is, like, killing Gideon, where they can just dodge all of my fucking projectiles. But this time, if I'm doing assassinations with the Jar Cannon, they can dodge my projectiles, and I can't even summon. It's just gonna be hell. I'm gonna waste, like, thousands of bullets. Or bolts, I mean, trying to trying to kill those assholes. No, let's just, let's just do it like this. See if we can do it. You know? It's going to take some patience. It's going to take some beating my head against the wall, I think, for uh, for this boss. But he's not as bad as the final boss. So there's that. The final boss is hell. Dude. Leave him alone! Dude, what?! How am I missing these shots?
I missed! Oh, dude, this sucks. I'm missing. Oh my god, suck my ass, dude. He just focused the Mimic. And now the Mimic's like dead. The Mimic's dead. God damn you! Damn you! That was, that was an ass go of it. Like, I, I was so, I'm so pissed off at how many shots I missed completely because he was doing an attack. And even though the bolt went through his fucking model, it, he just didn't take damage from it. Like, that's horse shit, man. Absolute bullshit. I can't believe how this is going. I thought he was going to be significantly easier than he is, but we're going to we're going to have to exercise patience for this one, I think. He's very fast and those attacks that fill the whole arena are kind of a pain in the ass. I have to like jump over them or roll through them at the perfect time. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Maybe I'll wait to summon a, um, summon the mimic a little bit. Why are you walking to the side, you penis? Oh god, I'm not patient enough for these challenge runs. I'm telling you, they really fucking test me. And then he does that, and he the, the, my shit just goes through him. That was death. I, I I did not expect him to do that move right then. I really didn't. All right. All right. Shit. He's a tough one. He's a tough one. He's notoriously tough. So I can't really feel too bad about struggling with him, but we're so close to the end of the game, I can taste it. I can taste it. The final boss is what's really going to suck the life out of me, though. Maybe... Hmm. Well, I guess we could try out using the uh, other summon. Oleg, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the mimic tier again for this. Let's just see what we can do. God, I hate you, dude. I, I seriously fucking hate you. Now I'm too far away and I'm gonna miss every shot. I 
Ballast. Mimic's dead. Dude. He doesn't even give me a second, man. Give me a fucking moment. A moment. If you please. Maybe another strategy could be employed here. Perhaps I could level up a little bit more, I guess. 99 Vigor, 99 Endurance, or something, <laughs> something absolutely absurd. Um, improving my Dexterity, I, I think that that could potentially speed up the animation for reloading this, but I don't know that it would. Generally, increasing your Dexterity speeds up certain animations, and... That's really the biggest downfall of the build right now, is like the fact that this jar cannon takes so long to reload after firing. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I kind of feel like Oleg is going to suck against him if I try Oleg, but maybe not. I'm going to still use the Mimic for this one. I'm going to try to summon him at a more strategic time. One. Two. Three. And he dodges that one. Why? 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 You shouldn't be able to dodge my fucking projectiles like that, you peen. They're still going through him. That's what makes me so angry. They're connecting with his fucking model and not doing any fucking damage. Suck my ass. From. From software. Maybe it's because I'm playing on the last gen version and like there's janky ass frame rates and animation and stuff like that might have something to do with it. But still, like if my bolt connects with his fucking model, he should take damage. I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm watching my bolts go through him, dude. Show this to Miyazaki right now. Have him fix it. Hot fix on the spot. No matter where you shoot in the arena, your bolts connect with him. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, you know what? Let's try Oleg for once. Maybe maybe mixing it up a little bit um, could help me out. I feel like Oleg's just going to get absolutely shredded by this boss, though. I'll give it a try. But I don't think it's going to go very well. Black Knife Tish would be good. There is still that option on the table, I guess. If I want to sit there and, like, really get Electo killed, but... Uh, 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 shit. 
Okay, there we go. Whew, that was close. He's gonna dodge this one. See, it went through Sarosh. It went through his back. Okay, well, that was my fuck up that time. Oh, he does so much damage to Oleg with that. Fuck. Fuck. I don't know if that's gonna work out either. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna give it a good college try. Maybe... No, no, the jar cannon mimic sucks for this, honestly. Honestly, honestly sucks. Ugh. Might be able to get... Might be able to... Find an opening in phase two when he does his, like... Ripping the ground open attack. But... Oof. Oof. Right here. Right at the end. Nope. Hey, maybe um, Oleg can stagger him. Kind of what I was hoping he would do for the other boss. I'm gonna get hit with this. What the fuck? I was off of it! another drink chat uh give me a minute i'm gonna take a quick break once i uh once i come back to life here i think oleg uh is actually tankier at the moment than my mimic tier though so I'll, I'll try uh i'll try a few more runs with oleg we'll see if maybe the combination of oleg's relentless melee attacks and my bolts are able to uh provide a solution here here, let's get in a pose. Alright. I will be back. Don't go too far. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. And I'm just gonna leave the Elden Ring uh, background music on. It shouldn't be long. I gotta pee. I'm gonna get a drink. And then we'll be back and we'll kick his ass. We'll whip his ass. Alright, I'm back bit of a longer break but I did have to pee and I did and uh, I also wanted to get a drink and I got that too so back at it now there used to be I'm, I'm just thinking of strategies here to beat these harder bosses with the uh, with the old cannon there used to be a strategy and I don't know if it's been patched because it was a glitch but there's a move swap glitch where you can get the pizza cutter and do the special with it and as that move is activating you swap to the jar cannon and then you have fully automatic jar cannon with that does not consume ammo i don't think i want to do that um because it would be such a pain in the ass to kill the invader that uses the pizza cutter uh, with the jar cannon That I kind of don't think it would even be worth trying at this point even if the glitch does work and it's kind of cheesy like I, I feel like that kind of defeats the point In a way as well, although I am using Oleg for this so fucking what am I talking about even? Oh 
a one, a two, -hoo. and then if I do the three, he's gonna dodge it. A three, dude, that went through your fucking head, bro. I missed. Good damage. I've been debubbled. Holy shit. Oh my god. I just got completely overwhelmed. I got emotionally overwhelmed. I told you I was sensitive. Oleg is like lasting though. Oleg's lasting a little bit longer, I think, than the the mimic tier was, right? Oleg might be tankier. Black knife Tish would be like I I could probably have black knife black knife Tish solo this fight, but uh, Electo with the jar cannon, but Electo with the jar cannon. Do I really want to do that? If it comes down to it, I might have to. And, ugh. Ugh, that would be gross. That would be so nasty. Hope it doesn't come to that. Alright. I, I, I so rarely get to him, too. I'm just so bad at, like, predicting what he's going to do. Interesting. If I shoot again, are you going to jump? Yes. That was close. Yeah, stay focused on me. Don't worry about that guy beating your ass. Just focus on me. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. Hit him again. Good. We were gonna do it. I thought we were gonna make something happen. Shit my pants. Shit my whole ass. My entire britches soiled. Oh, Evac Creations 99. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. Hope you're having a good one. Watching me get my ass absolutely handed to me on a silver platter. Ooh. Hmm. Radagon and Elden Beast, too. That's... Ugh. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Gotta focus on this fight first. A two, -hoo. a three, a 
poke. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Two thousand. All right, heal up. He's going to start doing the shit. Mamma Mia. Yeah, I'm bad at this fight. Damn. Don't get him in phase two. How embarrassing. Mm. But what would be what would be more painful? Fighting through him with the jar cannon or fighting through black knife ringleader electo with the jar cannon hmm might be time might be time to do that shit might be time to bring out the big guns just go for black knife tish make this easier, that's for sure. Okay. Dodge. How, how, no. You've defeated my summon. This is bad. Uh oh, why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared.
I'm dead. Like, if he, if he fucking, I, I don't have, like, enough opportunity to get that attack off. Oh, and I'm out of heals, yeah. Yeah, this ain't going too hot. No, do the one where you... Oh, man, not that. Whoa! I thought he threw me out of the arena. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Ah, oh, shit. It might be Black Knife time, man. I might actually have to go defeat Electo and get that. Get that summon. I think I have more patience to do that fight than to do this fucking fight without... I mean, it's just so damn much, this fight. He's so fast. I am not gamer enough for that. So, yeah, let's, uh... Let's maybe go grab Tish. I'll try it again. We tried it earlier. It wasn't working out too well. I was also wearing the, uh, stupid armor. The, um... What's it called? The, the god skin set. Which doesn't have as much damage resistance as this set, so. There's the bull goat armor if I wanted to do the Volcano Manor stuff, but eh. Eh. I could use Golden Vow to give myself a little bit more damage uh, in this fight, at least. At least for the first attack. Oh, it's right here. Alright. Well, let's go see about this. Still got a ton of bolts. If I start to run low, we can go farm the bird. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Yeah, we're good, we're good. What's up, turtle bros? Oh, damn it, I still have the the wrong um, thing equipped on my flask. That's fine. Gonna do this. And this. Stop. This. Alright. It's still not a, a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh, nice! Counter-attack damage is good. Hey. Come on. This was the annoying thing before, is you would never do the fucking exploitable jumping attack. Come over here. Come on. <laughs> I should have dodged one more time dodging back. I would have been out of range. God damn it. Bad positioning. This fight's gonna take forever. Forever! It'll be worth it to have Black Knife Tish, I guess, but oh man. Oh man. I don't have the patience of a lot of, uh, speed, like, challenge runners of this game. 
And that's really what it boils down to, is, like, it's a test of your patience more than anything. It's a test of skill, yes, but it's... It requires way more patience than uh, I would know what to do with. I'm gonna Golden Vow myself just to make myself feel better. Get my bubble. Golden Vow. Jar. Come on! Explosive. Boom! Come this way. Oh my god, stop that. Jumping attack, please. Everything but the jumping attack. There it is. Good distance, too. Come here. Yep. No jumping attack to finish it off? Come on. Oh yeah, just run all the fucking way over there. You want to be at like middle... middle distance-ish? And then she'll do it. Come on. Hello? Oh, fucking Christ on the cross, dude. Okay. Come on. Not that. Not that either. Yes.
Oh, that was huge. Come on. Gotta be very careful. Ooh. Eat my ass. At least you can't heal. Went Gideon. No! Oh! Nice try. so bad. can't believe I missed several fucking shots in a row like that. I'm so, oh god, I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of this. <sighs> I may not even have enough bolts. Nope, we're gonna try to stay in the bowl. Come here. Fight me in this bowl. Headshot. I love when she does that. That's that's the best. Come here. Come here. A little closer. Come on. What are you afraid of? You afraid I'm gonna headshot you with this jar cannon again? <laughs> okay, that was alright. Top off. Come over here. I swear to God. No, stop. Nice. Why are you going so far away? Oh my god. Stop that.
Please. You haven't done the jumping attack in a million years. Please, for the love of God. Might be RNG fucking me a little bit, because these black knives have so many moves that, like, it lowers the chances of that move happening. If that makes sense. They have, like, 18 different moves or something. It's, like, ridiculous. Come on! That was great. Thank you. More of that, please. More of that, please. No. Yes. I don't know if this is the one. I only have one more regular bolt left, and then we're left with nothing but explosives, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. and why. I don't have any heals left. I have no heals. This ain't the one, gang. Just spam your, like, super jumpy attack. Spam it. Spam it. Do your fucking thing. Do your thing. Electo. Thank you for making me waste all those bolts before you killed me. For fuck's sake. Ay ay ay. We got her down pretty far. Got her below half. <coughs> Oh man, I really need to, I really need to equip my, uh, my heal on this flask, actually. On my, uh, Wondrous Physic. I still have the unlimited mana thing, which I don't need, because it's not like we can summon in here. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boom. 
Might also be a good idea to maybe get the, um... Oh, what was I even gonna say? I, I totally lost my train of thought just now. I don't know why. My brain just, like, fucking reset. There was something else I was thinking it could be good to get, but I don't know what it was. Oh, there's a... There's a crystal tear that I could use instead of the heal to, like, make my criticals do more damage. So, like, my headshots would do more damage. I think there's a headshot talisman specifically, actually. That could be good. There's one that negates headshot damage, I know, but... I think there's one that boosts your headshot damage as well. So, I don't, yeah, it could be good to get that. Flask. Golden Vow. Jar Cannon. Tough asshole. My God. Wow. What what utter dog shit this is. tired of this fight already. See, I don't have the patience for this. I don't have the patience for these fucking challenge runs. I swear to God. It's gonna be the death of me. Almost missed that. Come on. 
Oh my god. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Come a little closer. This is so much fun. <laughs> I like that. I like when she just runs directly at my face after that. Makes it easier to hit her. Come here. Come here. going over here. I'm glad that still hit. Come here. Jesus Christ. All right, now I need to heal, fuck. I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my fucking god. I'm losing my will to live. Well... What else could we do? I, I, I could get, like, the commander's standard, and that might give me, like, decent enough damage boost to get through this fight better, but I feel like using the weapon art for that is gonna 
take up a lot of time. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep doing it for now. It's like one mistake though, and I'm fucking dead. So annoying. In such a long damn fight, it's really annoying. Come here. Keep being aggressive. Keep being aggressive. Come on over. Come on down. The thing is, because my ammo is limited to 20 shots of each, I really can't just, like, keep up the fire the whole time. Which I think would make this a lot easier. Fucking missed one. For the love of God. No, chain it into your jump attack, you peen. You absolute chode. You're being a chode right now. Being such a chode. Black knife Tish. I mean black knife Electo. Sure, go all the way over to the fucking fog in the distance. Why not? Why not go all the way out there? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Come here! Come here! Fuck! Of 
quit jumping away so far. God, I hate you. I hate you. Stop. Fucking stop. It's over. <sighs> Maybe not over, but like, good lord. Sure. Come here. Stop going out in the fucking rocks. I swear to God. I hate this so much. I hate this so fucking much. I'm so close to giving up on this fucking run. I don't want to. We're so close. We're so close to the end. But like, oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. This boss is so obnoxious to fight like this. Like, I'm I'm the fool. Like, I'm the one fighting the... <laughs> I'm the one fighting the boss with a jar cannon, but still. Like, this is ass. This is like... This is for the birds. What if I just rush you? I'm gonna miss. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on, asshole. Don't just dodge everywhere. Play more aggressively, for fuck's sake. I mean, I'm one to talk, I guess. Look at how much she just dodges for no reason. Can we stop wasting all this time, please? Come on. Very good. 
Boom. Come over here. Oh my god, stop jumping away! That is the most annoying thing about this boss, is like how little time I can actually spend fighting her! Kill. Meat. Goblet. Come on! Come on! Dude, I, I really hate you. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my fucking sweet Jesus. Sure! Yeah, I might as well miss. Now I'm gonna die. One mistake, and you're dead. One fucking mistake, and you're dead. And it's like a 27-minute fucking fight because she doesn't stop jumping away instead of just attacking you. I, I hate it. I absolutely hate this fight. This is horrible. Horrible. At least Hora Lo, Chieftain of the Badlands, is a fun fight. This is just... This is just terrible. This is just ass. Holy shit. What have I done? Why did I do this? Oh wait, did I? I have full bolts, right? Yeah. Okay. It's causing me, it's causing me physical pain. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that either. Stop this. I'm dead. Oh, God. Son of a bitch, dude. This is horrendous. This is horrendous. At least we'd be Gideon, but like... Jesus Christ. It's just how annoying this fight is that's really getting to me. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I can't believe that this fucker can just dodge away for 99% of the time, and then if I get hit once, I'm dead. Basically. This is just... This is hogwash. This is ass. This is the worst thing to ever happen to me. No, that's not entirely true. The uh, torch run was incredibly painful. We never even finished it. It's still sitting there. Should I just emote? Should I just like sit down and go take a nap? for how much downtime there is in this fucking fight. Christ.
Wait, maybe I can stun lock. This is cheesy, but I like it. I like the cheesy. Why aren't you reacting? That's what I want to know. You know what? I'm fine with this shit. I'm fine with this. She seems to be more concerned with getting out of here than actually fighting back, so... Fine by me, man. Got one more shot. And then it's explosives now. Not out of the woods yet, though. One one mistake and I'm fucking dead. Wow. How about that? I can't believe that just happened. I... Wow. That was so much less miserable than just waiting around for an opening. Apparently, okay, I guess what happened is Black Knife Electo got stuck in that little crevice. It was like, I'm going to use all of my brain power to try to slowly navigate out of here before I start dodging attacks. And then since navigating out of that terrible position took priority, she didn't even bother dodging the other direction. Which would have absolutely fucked me for that strategy. I have six bolts left. That was close to not working. That was very close. Now, I'm gonna need a bunch of ghost glove wart. Where's a grave? Let's make a quick pit stop and equip Black Knife Tish, and then we'll go to the we'll go to the round table and talk to Roderica. I wanna say it's ghost that we want. And then I'm going to need to equip the Cerulean Hidden tier on my flask. So that I can summon her. Do I have enough to level? Yeah, I have enough for a couple levels. I already have so much health. Well, actually, 100 more HP. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll spend some runes on that, yeah. Let's see. I see. One. 
Oh yeah. It's ghost. It's ghost. Confirmed. Use Malakath's Remembrance. Two? I need three. Let me see. Let me see. Just north of the below the well side of Grace in Shofra River. Really? Oh, it's like over here, over here. Okay, okay. All right. Now we gotta go hunt for glove ward again. I'm so glad that fight's over. That was miserable. I don't even care that we killed her in a cheesy way. I still killed her with the jar cannon only. I'm happy. We may want to farm the bird a little bit for, uh, let me check on my ammo supply. Let's see how we are doing. 141 and 141. Okay. We've got a little bit. I don't really feel the need to, uh, grind right now, but maybe, maybe we will. There's apparently one, um... There's a glove wart that I need. Glove wart three. In this area, towards the back. So I'm gonna go grab that. grab this grace too so I don't have to traverse this whole distance every time I want to get over here should be up here this way I don't know how um, I never remember where all this glove ward is because I've needed it like 10,000 times by now should be able to find Ghost Glove Wart 3 in this area somewhere. Oh, is that it? Hey, Ghost Glove Wart 3. Very cool. Grab this Grace, too. Three acquired. Do I need a four? I need fours and fives. So let me look for a four real quick. Top of the main waterfall in northern Chauffeur River. Huh? Huh? 
So like here? Here-ish. Oh, it's probably okay, okay, okay. Hang on. I know what I can do to get up there. Oh, I might have already gotten this. Come to think of it. Edge of a cliff guarded by fallen hawks in Nokron. Okay. That one will be easy enough to grab. If this one isn't here, then we'll go for the Nokron one. Later, fucker. I kind of feel like I already grabbed the one that's up here. But I have to check. And we're going to need a five as well. Plus five. So, yeah. like supposedly it's like over here somewhere in this area I feel like I may have already grabbed it I'm not seeing one no Maybe it's up high. Is it like, uh, is it on, it's not on this side, is it? Oh, oh no, that's a mushroom, shit. Okay, it's not over here. Maybe it's on the other side. May have already grabbed it though, and that's fine. There's uh, there's more around. Yeah, I feel like I've already grabbed this one. Okay, okay. Um, well, let's go. So Nokron then. And uh, grab the one that's there maybe, if it's if it's still there, if I haven't grabbed it. I'll try to like mark on my map where this map is telling me it is. And we'll go from there. Let's see. Um, so it should be like right here. Like over here-ish. About here. A couple more threes. Grab 
grab those ashes just in case I want them later. No. I think it's down here. Is that it? Damn it. I said it was on the edge of a cliff, but... I'm actually not so sure about that, man. Feels like it would be back up here. Really feels like it must be back this way. Because the only cliffs they're in this particular area are back over here. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it's like back this way. It's not over there. It's not that. Huh. Maybe I'm maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm forgetting a spot. I don't have to get the one that's here, I just like I I wanna know why I'm not finding it. I guess because it says it's guarded by fallen hawks. Maybe these are fallen hawk soldiers or something. Because they do have the hawks on there. They do have the hawks on their fucking shields and stuff. I, I, I don't know. I guess I have already gotten the one here, maybe. So, okay. Yeah, found at the base of a legend, no Quran with a corpse on it. The base of a ledge with a corpse on it, eh? Hey? So it's about here? Right about. Right about there. Near the ancestral woods, by the looks of it. Let's see about this. Is that it? Hey, there it is.
And I take it, uh, I don't remember now, but do I need a five? And we need a two. We need a two and a five and an eight. Look for the two. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna search for a five because I feel like there's probably some around this area. Found behind a large stone building in Chauffeur River in an area only accessible by using a way gate south of Worshippers Woods, side of Grace. I think we already got that one. Submerged ruin north of the ancestral woods. I know where that is. I know where that is. It's uh it's over this way. Where you get the ancestral infant's head. That building. I'm gonna head over there. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um. That's that. We got the five. So, where does one get a two? Okay. There is... There's one that I didn't get. Yeah, there's one that I didn't get. Fine. Should be right over here, where the land octopuses are hanging out. Aw oh, man, come on. Is that it? There's a two. Got a two. Alright, so what do we need now? Like an eight? We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All I need now is an eight, and we can have plus nine black tish, uh, black knife tish, which is great. F two found on opposite sides of the shallow river floating, flowing through Noxtella. Two found under the bridge in Noxtella. Okay, we're going to Noxtella. That's no cron, so Noxtella's over here. There's also one in Mogwin Palace.
Okay, opposite sides of the shallow river flowing through Noxtella. Looks like there's one all the way at the end of the river. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's any over there. I don't think so. Apparently there should also be some under the bridge. There's one. Yep. I have a lot of runes on me, and I'd kind of like to use these to upgrade Black Knife Tish. So I'd like to not die, thank you. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, let me just see. We could get we can get her to plus nine, but can I like maybe get a great? There's four that can be obtained. Chest from a room underneath the massive skeleton and throne. Got it. Wait, did we? We beat the dragonkin soldier, didn't we? Probably did. I'll check. Oh, there was a fucking yeah. I got, I had the uh, I had the grace. Yeah, we definitely did. Okay. Oh, there's one in Noxtella. Chest at the back of a narrow room in Noxtella. Silver tear disguised as a large iron ball hanging off the ceiling. Okay. Well, you know what? Plus nine is plenty. Plus nine is fine. upgrade black knife tish and then we will hopefully have less trouble getting through the rest of the game we'll see i'm gonna cough up some runes bit more. I only need like a thousand. I... Boom! Alright, did I get my flask with the right crystal tear? Yes, I did. Alright, well, I will be back don't go too far. We're going to make another attempt to beat Hora Low, Chieftain of the Badlands, when I get back. I just got to take a pee break. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, just hang out. I'll see you guys in a few.
All right, I'm back. I am back for more bloodshed. Uh, it's a long stream today, huh? Let me uh, let me check my ammo real quick. Real quick. Right, we're at 140 even with both. Uh, I feel like I'm probably gonna need more ammo, but since I have over a hundred of each, I'm going to make an attempt to fight again. We've got plus nine black knife tish now, and that should be enough. <laughs> should be more than enough. We'll see though. If she manages to hit Godfrey uh, with a couple of those blasts of her knife, we'll probably be pretty okay. Let's see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Oh wait, I could, no, I can go to the grace at the very top, like right before him. What am I doing? There we go. Much, much closer. Otherwise I would have to go all the way through Gideon's room and then up through the tree. I don't want to do all that. That's another thing I think they did pretty well in this game is giving you more, more uh, sights of grace than there are bonfires in Dark Souls. So that they eliminated the horrible run-ups to a lot of the bosses that plague Dark Souls 1 in particular. Dark Souls 1 in particular. Like, the run-up to Gwyn every time you lose to Gwyn is miserable. Alright, here we go. We got Black Knight Tish equipped, right? It's time. Oh, that's bad. What? <laughs> wow. Wow. That was amazing. I've never seen that before. He flipped me out of the arena and I died. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, what a dumb death that was. I figured there would be like an invisible wall around the arena or something to keep you inside, but no. No, he could just throw your ass out. <laughs> I wonder if you can get him to slam dunk you off of the cliff and kill him. In phase two. Like if I stand at the right distance from the wall, I wonder if he can toss me out of bounds and then follow me out there and then dunk himself off the ledge. <laughs> that would be great, actually. I would love to see that, but... Not this time. Alright, we're gonna run toward him a little bit. Boom. Oh, boom. Okay, I'm missing shots now. Stop! Don't hurt Black Knife Tish. Oh, that was awesome. She hit him with the thing. He's destroying her, though.
Phase two! Aw, oh, Tish died. No phase two either. Shit, my britches. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Might be good to get Shabriri's woe involved, because then he'll focus on me instead of focusing on Tish. And if he does focus on Tish, I just have to attack him like once and I'll get his attention. Shabriri as well. Could be could be a, a game changer here. I know where it is, it's just uh, again, it's gonna be kind of a trek to grab that. What do I have right now? I could get rid of, I could get rid of the uh, flame damage negation for that. I could also wait to summon Tish a little bit longer in the fight. Oh god, don't. Tish. Okay. How did that not hit him? Yeah, Tish. Oh my god, phase two. I gotta drink immediately. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck. If he would have missed me with that, I would have had enough time to drink and be back at full health. God damn it! It's always something, man. It's always something. Ugh. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. All right, all right. Here we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Now we gotta wait for this fucking animation to fucking play. Oh, God. Okay. Maybe I should wait. I'll try summoning Black Knife Tisha a little bit later. Get his health down a little bit first. Fine.
Oh. Hello there. Horrible timing on my jump, but it's okay. Oh. Okay. Fine. No! Fuck! 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 I thought we had him that time. Shit my pants, man. That was so close! Fuck! I fucked it up too. I, I, I really need to pay attention to his attacks because I, I do not remember his tells a lot of the time. He's got a few big ones that make it pretty easy to dodge some of his attacks, but like... Oh. oh! Second phase is really aggressive. It's gonna be hard for me to take shots at him. Um, so I think my strategy has to be get him aggroed onto me in the first phase, hit him a few times, and then, like, before he starts doing the big stomps, summon Tish. Miss me. Okay, fine. You hit me once. Are you happy? Are you happy with yourself? Try to hit him again. There we go. Keeps missing. Phase two. No, what? What? There's a delay? There's a fucking delay. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> well, I'm getting 
his ass. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get his ass. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck off. <laughs> I just want to be done with this fucking run. Truth be told, I just don't want to do this anymore. Do the thing. I'd really love if Tish would stop getting hit by that attack. Yet. God, don't take me into the fucking cutscene. I'm already dead. Penis. God damn it. This time I'm going to try to summon Tish after he's done his first, like, volcano explosion attack. Hopefully that works. Gives me a little bit more Tish time, you know? Probably going to need this. Yeah, sure, just missed twice. That's awesome, dude. So fucking cool. Did I miss? I think I missed.
Give me like a stagger. Oh my god, dude, can you stop that for a fucking second? He killed Tish. This makes me sick. This is making me fucking sick. Look how low his health was and he didn't go to phase two. What is wrong with this fight? It's being weird today, man. It's being weird today. I don't know how we're gonna fucking beat Radagon and Elden Beast. I don't know what I'm gonna do for them. I feel like Radagon is just going to teleport, dodge all of my fucking projectiles, and Elden Beast is going to be Elden Beast. Elden Beast probably won't be too bad, but Radagon is going to be the biggest pain in the ass in the whole run, I think. Okay. Ow, man. The summon worked. Sure. Failed attempt. Black Knife Tish wasn't been using her move enough. I needed her to just do that the whole time. 
pretty much. Dude, I swear to fucking God, stop doing this. Stop doing this. Jesus Christ. Transitioning to phase two during my death animation just makes it, like, painful. It, it just makes it take longer. That's all it does. Maybe I should just summon Black Knife Tish from the beginning. Maybe we could just melt him. I don't know. Might have to get lucky here. I'm not having fun anymore with this run. And I mean it. I mean it. Still full on bolts. I'm gonna keep on trucking for now. You know what? Um, I'm gonna do what I've been doing. Dodge this one? No. Interesting. I missed. Sure, pal. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. How long have I been going? Almost five hours? How did that happen? I didn't really even notice. Alright. I'm still gonna give this a few more tries. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. But he's miserable, man. He's not as miserable as Black Knife Ringleader Electo, though. That was horrible. That was awful. Until we found that cheese spot, like that was that was driving me up a fucking wall. Okay, wait a minute. I have found a strategy here. Not if you keep doing that, you fuck. Okay. Sure.
Fine. Let him again. Tish. Oh. Fuck off, man. He's pissing me off. He's pissing me off real bad. This jar cannon is so fucking unwieldy for anybody even remotely fast, and he's so fast. Radagon's even worse. Elden Beast will be fine, but I'm really, really worried about Radagon, like phase one. Still going for it. I really need him to not focus Tish. Yeah, this sucks. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Ah! Fuck, man. Fuck me. Blech.
Stop, you bastard. How did I miss? I don't know, you tell me. Um... Hey Miyazaki, can you send me a handwritten letter explaining to me how I missed that? That'd be great, thanks. Oh my god, I'm dead. Please, Tish, Tish. Tish, do your thing. Oh my God, no. Look how close that came. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Holy shit, dude. I hate that so much. We if I would have gotten one more hit from my from my jar cannon, he was dead. I'm so annoyed right now. This is fucked. Absolutely fucked. could I do? Ritual Sword Talisman, maybe? I don't know how easy that is to get. I'm pretty sure you have to go into, like, a hero's grave or something for that. Try the... Uh, what's it called? Fucking Golden Vow.
Okay, you know what? Missed? Sure. You know what? Might as well miss. Yeah, I didn't need to hit that. Sure. The jar cannon fucking sucks. I'm so fucking tired of you. I'm so fucking tired of you, Godfrey. Tish didn't have a lot of health going into phase two. She would have gotten wrecked anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, Ritual Sword Talisman could be good. I could also summon Black Knife Tish and then immediately Golden Vow. Give her some damage boost. And myself. Could try that. And it gives you a defense boost too for a little while. Yeah, that could be good. Let's try it. So, we step in, immediately drink, immediately summon, wait for her to show up, Golden Vow. Yeah, she got it. That missed him. Did you see that that went through him and missed him? How cool is that? Oh, that's bad. Oh, I'm out of bolts. So cool. Now we gotta go farm the bird again. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
Yeah, we gotta go farm the bird. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here, I think. I gotta get going. It's getting, um... It's getting pretty late. It's 8.30 in the morning. It's getting pretty early. Once again. Uh, so, I may be back later. I, I have some stuff I gotta take care of today, but I may be back later tonight. I'll let you guys know in the Discord and everything. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for, uh being so cool thank you for watching me get my ass kicked for five hours uh i will return to this because we're so close to finishing this run um right there we're right there and before long we'll look back on this and laugh and laugh and uh it'll be great but for now i must go thank you guys once again i hope you have a great day and take good care of yourselves i'll see you soon